an hour, so I kind of know it's going to be fucked up. So if it's an hour, I can send it to one. But I'll do that after. I know how it is. I know you did. I got you did. I would get it. Mom and Carl was helping me with it anyway. No, the front bumper and then the front suspension. You got your mic on? Or did you leave it over there? Mm -hmm. Tom Tom, where'd you put it? Where's the mic at? I, I oh, literally yeah, yeah. just hit enter and it worked. Okay. You get the mint chickens for me? What mint chickens? Huh? The mint chicken right there. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, just for you. I see your burgers are only mustard and only cheese. Right, and you don't have to worry about those. I'll take care of them. Yeah, because I don't do mustard. And I don't do it. stuff. Cool. All right, Tom, now, listen. I'm going to move this table oh. up. Why is it so... It's a marble table, dude. Okay, Tom, I know you're looking at pictures of yourself or whatever. No, I'm not. I'm looking at a table. That doesn't make it any better. <laughs> you look at somebody else's muscles. Oh. Okay, look. Put this on. Like mine. Get these chips out of here. We got fries. All right. Cold already. I got them literally two minutes ago. The bathroom doesn't stay hot like the bathroom. This, this ain't a twist off? No. You know I had to give you all right. Love you, Tom, Tom. Yeah, sure you do make life fucking difficult. Just getting your mic You're right, touching bro. Touching me off. No, stop lying. Nobody <laughs> touched you like that. Just got to get your mic. It was too close to your mouth. It was on your chin. So now you're saying I got a fat chin. What the hell, bro? I didn't even say. I didn't even look at it. So then, how do you know it was too close to my chin? It was a little too close to your chin, big dog. You got it. Oh man, they saying me ask for Coca Cola. Mm. That's nicer. No, I got a metal top. He's like, yo, give me a Coke. All right, bye. Like, what? No, I said, give me a Coke and the door's open. Oh, maybe you did, right? You don't pay no attention. For, don't don't remember your way to my house, even though you've been here about, what, four or five it, times? Right. I passed by. You know what? This is my first time coming with it on this side. So they'll come in when, from that direction. So I drove by. I'm like, man, all this greenery. <sighs> Jesus. So we're going to watch. Why, why don't you put that up a little more and get the table out of you a little bit? No, because I want people to see that I like McDonald's. But I love it, McDonald's. It looks disorganized. Look at this. French fry pillow. Okay. And a milkshake pillow. They from in and out Leave me alone. I'm not sorry. I think he knows I'm not sorry. He's not. And he's going to get folded with a broken hand in the room. And then if I don't get folded, all oh, the glory. The glory. You said 112? Yeah. Did you see where he almost sized him up? No, I told you I'm not caught up and you want to do this right now. Okay. So don't blame me for his stupidity, y'all. Is this better, Tom? What the fuck? Is that better or you want to go better? Come on. There it is. Best camera. No. Th Just trust me. You don't want too much in the fucking view. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. All right. We'll talk about that later. Tom got big ass count. This is too heavy. Leave the damn table. <sighs> it's too heavy. Just because you're weak don't mean it's heavy. Dude, this table is fucking 500 pounds. Yes, the top of it is. All right, then. Stop bullshitting, dude. I've carried it by myself. Okay. Several times and have not dropped it. Why are you touching me like that? Somebody's got muscles. Oh, hey. If you like it, I won't do it again. You try, you about to watch the whole episode? I told you I'm not caught up with it. Oh, so you got to watch it piece by piece and shit. That's what I was doing. I was going back. When you walked in, I was on the episode I had left off i got you which is three episodes before this so i'm three episodes in the dark you ain't missing nothing so what is this one 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 two yes this one kind of starts like randomly back with shank no spoilers i didn't really they ain't really on egghead on this episode so you ain't gonna miss nothing it's almost like the odin flashbacks where it just starts somewhere else okay the recap might get you you might see something you ain't seen yet in the recap. i'll just get that one thing i think about shanks i'm trying to talk too much but every time you see him it's like a turning moment in the show luffy gets the devil fruit as a kid you know, the war. Whenever you see Shanks, it's like a really important moment. And you don't realize how important it is until he's gone almost. Like, oh, snap. That was important. You know? Like the Oda does that for Shanks. Yeah, see, like, I don't even see the fight with those four and Luffy, Zoro, and all them. So it's like... They're just going back and forth. They ain't doing it. Ain't that, there's no conclusion to it. They still fight. If that helps. I wonder what motivates her as a robot to, like, betray someone. I feel like the Vegapunks do. You know, I feel like they promotions, you know, so is your motivation pure intelligence and you thinking this is a good move for survival or are you like hating on people with and with your emotions? There's really no telling. It's a robot. Right. That means he's already at Elbath, the land of the giant. I just realized that he's at Elbath. They're trying to get to it and he's there. Kid is there. Shanks is there. So good. You're gonna get some fries? I'm good. Are they bad for you when you work out a lot? Bad type of protein or are they pretty good? Mate, McDonald's is just bad for you. I mean, it's a decent treat, you know? 
But that's why I go with the mint chicken. Cleaner thing. protein. It's just like the chicken patties or anything like that. Any of the frozen chicken you get really. So all processed food is bad for you in a way. I got you. Just like this process is not healthy. So El Bath is Shank's territory. I just not realizing that. I'm thinking they're going somewhere that nobody's been. Are they going somewhere nobody's been? It's last sale and then what's the other island? I don't remember. Two islands they're trying to go to. I mean, well, technically, didn't he come from where Luffy came from? The East Blue, I believe it is. Yeah. And all that. I love how much cleaner the animation is than what it was like a couple years ago. Excuse me. Oh, is this mukbang one piece? Eating the whole time? In the mic. Mukbang one piece, people, with McDonald's. Shanks is always smiling. You ever notice that? Even when he's about to fight. So good. Today's definitely a cheat day. What do you mean? Like when you see him, okay, we first time you see him. What's this guy, Ro? Ro? The guy that's always got the, the turkey leg in his hand? Or the ham hawk? Yeah. Where he pops old buddy? For Luffy, that one's hard. And then he has an entrance where he walks up to Whitebeard and everybody passes out. And then he's got where he comes into the war and tells, uh, what is it, a Kainu? Yeah. It tells him to stop. Like every time you see him, he's about to like go off. He's one of them that, like in real life, you like just so laid back and casual. Yeah. And. Like, you don't want to fuck with him, per se. I would say this episode is probably the most screen time I've seen of Shanks in an episode. Besides that one where Luffy gets the devil fruit on accident. Yeah, no, nah, it is. Because you usually only see him, like, a couple seconds and then he's gone. Which is why this episode is, like, the one that needs the reaction, you know? It's worth it. Kid used to be like that. You would only see Kid for, like, a short amount of time and then he would be gone. Until Wano. That's when you, like, saw him. I only remember seeing him like once or twice. Right. You never saw a kid for a long period of time. And if and before that, it was Law until you got to a Punk Hazard. And then you see Law all the time, which I love. I'm ready for characters like Big Mom was like that. You didn't even see her face until they got to Big Mom's Island. Right. And then she gets a lot of screen time. So like I'm looking forward to when Shanks screen like you basically get to know more about his, him you know and not just him but some other characters that we've seen only a couple times when we're gonna see them like you know because once you see him i feel like now oda now that he's revealed them a little more i feel like now he's like okay the audience understands who they are and now i can show them on screen without the mystery part yeah if you read the manga it goes so much more in depth than the anime yeah i like the animation more because I feel like they're interpreting the anime and like Oda doesn't re doesn't want, he's not going to release it unless it interprets it well enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, this is where they're about to fight. But like, I feel like the, the animation is just takes so long. I can read it faster. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. What is that? Yo, that's what Luffy sees in his eye when he turns the fucking, the, um. Uh, Year five. Tanika, yeah, he sees that little red thing in his eyes. I wonder what that is, you know? Oh, the animation starts to kind of melt on the, like melts on the screen, melt on the paper, kind of when they do these powerful moves. Shit. The, the two that were fighting for so long, for the thousand years or whatever, just because they wanted to help out. No, the two that um, in the very beginning. Oh, whatever, just, just to do it. Yeah, the thousand year duel or hundred year duel. Did you see what he said? No. He said, go back. Because you're trying to talk to me. My bad. The fight has begun. Let me be quiet. You can talk. I'm going to be quiet. Just him running up the stairs is hard, bro. Shanks got the swag, bro. I guess he saw an ill fate. Yes. <sighs> kind of like Katakuri, you know? Yeah. What is that? What is that? It's hockey. But it's like a phoenix. Okay. 
Akia me sounds like, are you kidding me? In English. <laughs> Divine departure. That's what um, Roger used against Odin. I mean, Whitebeard. Yeah. So he knows some of Roger's moves. I wonder what Luffy's divine departure is going to be with his fist versus a sword. You know, or maybe Zoro's going to get it because he because he could do it with a sword or whatever. And then Luffy got something even more powerful. Probably. What? What's that? Oh, you got to wait and find out. I don't spoil like that. Whenever somebody yells it like that, you're like, I don't even believe you. I mean, you could literally say Shanks is the most powerful pirate we know. I like how they got the poneglyphs and sheets now. Like, I guess... Copy them or something. Yeah, somebody write them. I, I guess what makes sense is whoever was there from way before, they found a way to fight the government. And now they're trying to hide and all that. Think about this. They're not trying to hide the One Piece because only Roger knew where it was at. Or right. supposedly right. is the only one. Right. And it seems like Shinx knows where it's potentially at too. Yeah. That's why the world government works with them because what they, they would rather be on his side. Yeah, because of how powerful he is. Look, you just seen him take Kid out in one shot. Right. But anyways, besides that, look at what they were trying to do with the gum gum fruit, the Nika fruit. They tried to hide in it. Shinx is the one who found it. And, well, Luffy's got it now because he ate it out the box. But what was that? Where all those colors come from on that attack? They only got like a Nika attack too. Their attack is green, like Zoro's thing. Yeah, but that's two giants combining their strengths together. That's crazy. I hope you survive. With the bounty of three billion berries. Destroyed with these. I mean, we're in new territory. We are not in Kansas anymore. Shanks was not playing. So it wasn't really a fight. It was more like Shanks slapping him. But Sh Shanks <laughs> literally put him down like old Yeller in the shed behind the house. Shanks was like, oh, but the key, the, the dope part is that he's got future sight, you know? Yeah, well, you see Luffy ends up getting a little future sight in him whenever he starts fighting Mochi Man. Yeah. That's when Luffy starts realizing how to start unlocking all his... To my cat yeah. Mochi Man, Katakuri, same thing. Mochi Man just sounds better. He's a munchy man because he likes to eat on his back. Why, why would they... Bro, that was the... What did they say? One thing he's never done, he's never went to sleep. And he's never laid on his back. It's like, wait, what? And then he's, he's laying on his he's back. He's never eating. ate in front of anyone and he's never been put on his back. He spoiled is what it was because they had a tent for his little cookie, little cookie. No, nah, he made the tent. Oh, that was a mochi tent. Yes. Oh, my God. He was so whack for that. <laughs> I don't blame him, though. All right. That was one. I, I feel like Law is more powerful than Kid now. Law's always been more powerful than Kid. Yeah. I, I feel like maybe before the last episode, I feel like Kid was pretty strong. But now Law, Law versus Kid versus Shanks ain't even close. Like Law held his own for at least five minutes. Uh, but still, the, the whole thing about it is Blackbeard has the Quake Quake fruit and then the Black Cloud fruit or whatever it's called. I forget the actual name for it. Yeah. But the biggest thing we got to remember is Blackbeard doesn't even know how to control both of those powers together, let alone alone efficiently. Right. Law knows how to control his power. Yeah. Law is the main reason him and Kid beat Big Mom. Yeah, Law without now, without Law, Law it wasn't working. Without Law, they Kid didn't they don't never win. beat Big Mom. Big Mom by herself. Yo, Law is way stronger than Kid. Way stronger. Law is I wouldn't say as powerful as Luffy, but skill wise, he's got a few more skills in his bag that could tilt. Yeah, the he's got more tricks. Him just because of his power of his fruit. Yeah. The creative way. I feel like Law can fight Nika before Kid can fight Nika as far as his creativity. See, the thing about it is, is, and then we're talking about Luffy, aka Nika the Sun God, which is whatever he touches can turn anything to rubber, as we've seen in the several fights that he's had. Right. With that being said, Kid's, uh, yeah, Kid's power is going to be useless. It's, it's like negated. Because it's your exactly. rubber. It's going to be negated. It's not going to hurt him. And Luffy has more hockey powers than Kid and Law. Right. 